it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm here this morning with another About Town Roundup. And actually, um, the both the jewelry, uh, individual pickings, and the jewelry jars have been pretty good in the last couple weeks, so I've been able to do a roundup sooner than I would have thought. Uh, just as I was despairing that there wasn't anything out there, suddenly there's lots of stuff out there. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this Gans um, initial necklace. I purchased it because my name is Pat and it's, this is a beautiful P pendant. I'm not sure what if I'm going to put it on a necklace or a keychain, what I'm going to do with it. But I thought I should grab it while the grabbing was good. At the same time, I found this lovely, is that right side up? I guess it was. Chico's necklace. Look at how beautiful this is. This is, um, I'm not sure if I can figure out how long it is. It's at least 36 inches long. So it, um, it's not symmetric, total, it's not symmetrical, but that's okay. These are beautiful glass beads. Um, this is, uh, metal, not just plastic that looks like metal. Lots of lovely gold bead caps, a lovely range of reds, which I love reds, and I can wear them, no problem. These ones at the end here, um, yeah, I think those are glass as well. Um, you know, gold uh, tone lobster claw clasp, but a very nice looking Chico's necklace, and I'm surprised that they didn't think to put it um, separately. So that was, you know, $2 Canadian. And then I had to, I wanted to be able to buy, you know, three for six. So I picked up this um, spring ring clasp, long, long, long uh, string of glass faux pearls. Very nice weight to them. Lovely color, very repurposable. And these are unusual in that they go down to a few graduated pearls. And then these um, Aurora Borealis. Um, or maybe half AB uh, bicones in between them. So and, uh, there we go. Nice little uh, highlight at the center of the necklace. And again, oh, mo well, well more than 36 um, inches in length. So a great thing to repurpose, make a shorter necklace with the, uh, I think with the center bead to use to save the extra faux pearls. Um, then I was out the next week and found this lovely statement necklace. And I love the colors of it, the black and the green, or the, yeah, that's black and green. Oh, I think those are glass. They, they're not too cold. So let's see if I can get it to flatten out nicely. There we are. So huge, huge lobster claw clasp. No extender, thank goodness. But look at this. Oh, here we go this way. Another Chico's. Really unusual in my area. And this looks like it's never, ever been worn. Uh, I'll, I'll have to look up uh, uh, the manufacturing ages of things from Chico's. I know at one point they were... Um, some places were clearing out their components, so I kind of had a sense that maybe they weren't making as much anymore. But there's the beautiful necklace, and uh, well, I guess 18, and then the lobster, uh, then the extender. But that's marked, this isn't marked, but I mean, this has to match. I mean, there's no way that you could say it doesn't match. Um, a stretchy bracelet with the same uh, large glass pieces. So as I said, it's not marked. I looked everywhere inside. Um, none of the individual things are marked, but um, this was available separately. So I grabbed the two pieces because they match. So lovely, lovely um, tur uh, Chico set. And the green looks kind of gray on my camera, but it is a lovely, lovely... Um, green you can kind of get some hints of the bluer color in there and then again 
because it's $2.99 each Canadian or uh, three for six. Um, I picked up this huge, long, uh, no clasp, but more than 36, so probably two, four, six, eight, uh, 42 inches of these size 10 or even, they might be even larger. I didn't measure them, but they're, they're, I think they're actually larger. So maybe size 12, um, by cones with the AB on a portion of them. You can sort of see as you turn it, there's the a, or the mirror finish there, and then it kind of stops and goes around. Anyway, these are beautiful um, bicones. There are some, oh, there are some smaller and larger ones. Oh, I didn't notice that. Anyway, there was a clasp at one point and it's disappeared. Um, but just to buy, you know, a strand of bicones like that, of nice crystal bicones, wouldn't it would be well over um, two dollars and so I have these a whole range of sizes and I guess I missed the fact that they were um, graduated to the center there but the other side I guess maybe it's meant to be double because the other side is uh, oh it is oh you think I would look notice these things when they're in a bag it's hard to tell this is actually a, supposed to be a double strand necklace um, and here I am just uh, just uh, seeing it on the camera. So 18 and say 6, 24. Um, missing the clasp. But I bought it simply because of the, the value of the bicone beads. And uh, oh, it's easily repairable, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Once I get an idea that, oh, hey, I'll reuse the bicones, it's kind of hard to say, oh, well, I'll just put a clasp on it. And, but uh, ah, who knows? So lots of red, uh, red uh, bicones, red chicos, the beautiful green and gray chicos. And then um, my local Mission Thrift Store, uh, it was 50% uh, off yellow tags. So I picked up these earrings. They're very nice, very wearable leverback earrings, not marked in any way. But I thought these uh, drops would also be great to repurpose. And I like to try to keep things even, so I picked up this pair of uh, glass um, earrings as well to repurpose because I don't think that the cone um, bead ends or, or necklace ends really do justice to these crystals. Um, so I'll definitely take those apart and, uh, and reuse those pieces. Um, then there was a package that I forgot. Um, I thought I had put it in a roundup and it's it's gonna hang it around for a while, so I had to go back through my roundup videos. Um, <laughs> it's only been two. So this is a, a lovely pin that I picked up and I love these. I just like the way they look. I'm not sure if that's plastic in the back or mother of pearl, probably plastic, but this is a scarf clip. Um, and you can see that it says, there we go made in Germany let's see if we can zoom in a bit oh no it says Western Germany so that's before 98 so that's a vintage it doesn't it looks like it would be brand new can we get it to focus again now that I've gone and done the in and out there we go so I love that I, I this would be wonderful as a brooch as well um, or you know hang it on uh, as a pendant this would be lovely I could see I could see repurposing this into a pendant and then I picked this up I must have picked up three things and I don't know what the other one was at the time but I picked up this little necklace with the pretty little uh, pink and blue bicones this lovely little glass teardrop pendant um, because I thought it was nice and delicate that the uh, uh, bicones could be repurposed and there was the potential that these um, little spacers were sterling or silver plated. They're not, but um, a cute little necklace, uh, 20 inches, well over 18, 22, I would probably say. 
um, really cute little necklace it's it's a little tightly strung and so it doesn't lie very flat it kind of goes all over the place as you can see here so um, either I will repurpose the pieces or I will uh, uh, restring it and make it a little looser so that it it lies better so my um, my favorites of this roundup besides my initial which you know you can't pass up your own, my own name letter um, really are the Chico's pieces and just uh, I, I, more and more Chico's pieces seem to be turning up here in Canada and I'm not sure if they've just got a bigger presence in Canada in their stores or or you know why but I love this I can't wait to wear that and I love this and it's not something I would usually wear but I just love the set of it so I'll have to figure out uh, if there's a time that uh, it's suitable to wear I have uh, a couple of suits with this color in them but I don't often get to dress up as much as I would even uh, to sing because it's I'm uh, sort of mostly retired from singing I have lots of great clothes and not as much uh, reason to uh, dress up in them so I hope I'll get back into singing soon it's just nice to take a break after 10 solid years um, and then these are great as I said great repurposing pieces so it's a quick uh, <laughs> about town roundup great things that I uh, um, I found and I hope you enjoyed this quick look and so let's see six and six and let's say for uh, 18 well not even 18 dollars Canadian oh probably so close to 18 dollars Canadian without any taxes either since these are from our thrift stores um, you know very close to 10 12 dollars US <laughs> for all this lovely stuff so I'm thrilled have a great day. I hope the sun shines on you today.